All right, so we're out here with Carson today. This is not Carson, that's Austin. Are you filming an intro? Yeah, I haven't done my intro yet. We've already shot Can this video. Going? I haven't done my intro yet because a lot of people were watching me and I got nervous and I was stuttering. But this is Carson's, I believe this is a 97 K1500. This, is, this truck is perfect. Y'all be sure to give Carson a follow at Carson.Troll on Instagram. We are very close to hitting 8,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for that. If we haven't made it there yet, please subscribe. If we have, then I appreciate it. Hope you all enjoy the video and uh, let's get into it. So on the front, we have LMC all chrome grill. LMC billets, LMC bumper fillers, LMC smooth bumper with no license plate holes. We got a artesian engraving, hand engraved uh, billet bow tie. All LEDs in every socket on the truck. Just eBay clears and these corner lights, uh, they have LED switchboards on the top and bottom. They're not hooked up right now, but they are from uh, RZ Custom Lighting along with the mirrors. I'll show you all them in just a second. But uh, what a lot of people ask me about is this lift. A lot of people think it's from a 9906. A lot of people think it's from like different year model trucks. And a lot of people think it's a Cognito. And I did for the longest too. But uh, this is a 12 to 14 twisted suspension lift kit. And uh, a lot of people ain't gonna know what that is. That is a company that got sued in like early 2000s for making a copycat of a Cognito. But it is two inches bigger than a Cognito. Cause I've had both and I've measured both. And this one is uh, it's 12 inches from this bolt hole all the way to this one. The original Cognito they made for these trucks that are discontinued also. Both of them is extremely hard to find. This one is way harder to find than a Cognito is. But uh, yeah, I've had both of them. I sold the original one, but uh, this one's two inches bigger. This has a uh, lollipop shimmer powder coat and everything. The front uh, cross member was done by Houston, or Speed and Sport, chrome plate in Houston, Texas. It's got a uh, kryptonite tie rods, RC upper control arms, FTS 12 inch uh, billet reservoir shocks with the billet FTS clamp. Uh, it has 47 rot lights on the truck. It has two strips, quadro wheel lights. Uh, it's all been freshly repainted. Uh, the paint, not even like, I, I probably ain't put, drove it, but like a thousand miles on the road with this paint. It's, uh, you can see right here with the sun on it. It's, uh, Lexus and Acura paint coat. I'm pretty sure is what it is. I can't remember the exact thing. It's got, I'll show you all these mirrors. We'll go around this side real quick. But, uh, the mirrors have sequential blinkers behind the mirror you can't see until you turn the blinkers on and it also that's it's a, got yeah, pod lights too right yeah there's fl or puddle lights in the bottom of them also them are also from uh rz custom lighting on instagram and then i build these door handles they have led lights behind them i have them wired you can wire them up to anything you want to i have an ebay listing on them on ebay where i build them and I tell them where to get it yeah i mean if y'all y'all want to go buy them they're i got a you got a listing on eBay for them. You can wire them into your, your headlight. I got mine wired into my headlights, but you can wire them into your blinkers so they flash when your blinkers are on. But uh, other than that, we got 20 LTZ wheels on 35 grips. Pretty pretty new. What else we got? Are you trying for 26 by 16s or 28? Oh, yeah. Before scraping, I will definitely have either KG1s, JTXs, or HD Pro 4 26 by 16s, and either 35 materials or 35 uh, Furies. I'm trying to find somebody that can mount the Furious good without them leaking. Um, in the back, we got uh, the red bed liner. These are caddy racks. If anybody has a base, I already got the cap and everything painted. I need the base for this. If anybody has one of them, they'll be greatly appreciated because I lost mine. Uh, but I have a clear third brake light, clear uh, tail lights, and it's been the tailgate handle got shaved and relocated on the inside. Has a roll pan with the uh, the gap got welded and shade on it also. Uh, we have four inch 9906 spindles. Uh, people's ran OBS spindles, but you have to get bolt in lower control arms on the bottom because you have to flip the lower ball joint. It's just really sketchy. I've tried it one time and I, it's not not very good. Not or it's very sketchy. So you can do 9906 spindles. The tie rod bolts in fine. You don't have to flip the lower ball joint. It bolts in fine. The only thing you have to do is get a uh, a taper bit, and they're like they're pretty expensive, but. It's what they use to like, you know, to knock the holes in them with, or for the tie rods and ball joints and everything. But you got a, I don't know exactly how many millimeters it is. I've, I did it to mine. I've did it to a couple other people's spindles that they ran, but you got to uh, bore the top out just a little bit with the the uh, taper bit to run the upper control arms on it for our OBS. The ball joint on the OBS is a little bit bigger. But yeah, so it's, that would be, it has stock keys in it. You see the angles are turned like, it's turned all the way down, but uh, it's, I guess, technically 16 inches right now because it's the 12 to 14 and it's not turned up so it sit at 12 with the four inch spindles how much was the chrome for the front cross member all the powder was 
for everything. I got the whole, that core support in the, in the back, the holes, the torsion keys, all that done, and the whole entire lift, lower control arms. All the powder was 1500 and then the, the chrome cross member to get chrome plated in Houston was like, I think it was 800 bucks, and it was like $92 total to ship it, yeah. I didn't, I mean, I knew it was a lot. I didn't know it was that much, though. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty expensive. I've been wanting, after scraping, it's going to be a lot of money, but nobody's done it. I really want to get everything up front chromed, literally every single part. It's going to be a couple thousand. Oh, yeah, it's Easy. going to be like four or five. And if anybody has, I think for this <coughs> continue, I can't find any. If anybody has C CST forged four-inch spindles for 9906, let me know. I'll buy them. Hey, because if you, got, if you got two sets of those, I'll buy them. Yeah, yeah, if you got two sets. I'll buy one set. Just Austin wants sneak one. Peek. A little sneak peek, you know, forget the big truck right now. The little truck's gonna be big. I'm gonna be bigger than Carson Troll, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have, yeah. a, I'm gonna have a twisted rough country, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's gonna be bigger than this. I'm gonna sit like, probably like right there. Come on. See, ooh. So, in the starting off at the doors, we got uh, two PRV Neo tweeters, two DS18 uh, horn drivers, two inch, ten, or four. 10 inch CT sounds mid or mid range speakers. This is a Cadillac piece. It was wood grain, but I painted it because I didn't want the uh, I didn't want the little mesh tweeter cover. I wanted it to be solid. LG billet handles, LG billet locks, and then chrome trim around it. And then we got uh, every all the interior pieces that was plastic got painted by the guy that painted the truck. This L or this came from Spare Time Fab. The, the uh, polished uh, billet vents. Then all the other pieces are from LG billet also. Uh, shifter um the seats i i got these on a deal a while back i just traded my stock seats these are reupholstered but i traded my stock seats like 300 bucks cash for them or something already reupholstered everything? yeah they're like fully reupholstered no no uh like what's it called no seat covers these was made it's like some website i can't remember but uh i got them like you can send them an email or whatever of a picture and you can get whatever you want cut out in them but they're powder coated black and red i have uh q forms kick panels as a five and a quarter neo ds18 and a, a two inch titanium ds18 driver i didn't even uh, know you had those speakers down there yeah then it's uh it's dirty i'm sorry but uh i ain't cleaned it since pcb but it has all brand new black carpet the console was built by a guy in illinois i believe i can't remember it's been a while all right so the console was built by a guy in illinois it has acrylic pieces cut out with leds behind it on these, the inside right here and down here. Uh, it's wrapped leather and suede, and it was around, I think it was like two grand to get it built, but the guy in Illinois, he, he done it pretty good. I'm Did you have to go pick this up or was it shipped? I, uh, I, met him, I met him in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee to pick it up because apparently shipping stuff like this with FedEx, they they, he, they, broke, like, they broke like two of his consoles God. he built trying to ship them out. That's a lot of money. This is really think. clean though. I didn't say, but the doors was built by a guy named John Jabbar in Russia. And uh, he, he built them. He, you, you don't have to supply your door panels or anything. He supplies them. He ships them out. The total cost on them was two grand. And he's like, you can zoom in over there, but it's like very, very, very good, good quality work. work. So these are two grand for both of them? Yeah, two grand. Speakers for, yeah. installed or no? No, that was just door panels, base door panels, no speakers. How much you got in audio, you think? Um, A lot. It ain't, it ain't crazy. Like, the, I was going to do, like, a really good speaker, but on OBS doors, anybody watching this video that's ever did OBS door panels and built them like this, they know you don't have any kind of mountain mountain depth. So I had to get, like, a slim speaker, and my only option was this or the Timpano slims. But I think these speakers are, like, 40 a piece, so 40 times 8. These are, like, 100 a piece, and these are, like, 100 a pair, I'm pretty sure. So. And then the amps is, like, 300 for the 4K and, like, 150 maybe for the 800. So it ain't nothing crazy. I probably got equivalent i probably got the same amount of like money and wire the zero gauge with the two batteries oh, and yeah. the that zero gauge is expensive yeah and i run all ofc stuff too so that stuff gets really high and the headliner is uh free upholstered with uh red suede and it has a 550 piece starlight kit in it and like i said all these pieces all the trim everything in the back too got uh painted by the guy that uh that re uh, repainted the truck this uh this backing piece for the ac control like the hvac is made by a company called billet fantasies but the knobs itself are from lg billet then it's got a pioneer 1500 nex head unit uh all L are all led bulbs on the inside all, all beam led bulbs what else? if y'all want any of these lg billet pieces any of the interior trim for y'all chevy trucks i do have a creator code the link will be in the description but i've never sat in here because I was going to do it in PCB, but I was like, I'm not going to sit in it while he's not around. 
but I don't know any OBS that's sitting this tall in the front. And I'm, I'm assuming you can see just fine, right? Oh yeah, it's not as bad. These these trucks, especially out of cow hood with a factory hood, they're like naturally like yeah, you can, they you can they're kind of sloped truck. down. Yeah, to you the can front. level this truck completely out. Like just say it's a 10 inch fender gap in the front, 10 inch in the back, and it, it's gonna look like a it's gonna look like yeah, yeah. yeah. Like these trucks are naturally like slowed down, so these hoods ain't bad at all to see out of. Y'all can see, I mean, it sits really tall, but I mean, you can see just fine. It's just like driving a lifted trick. Lifted trick, lifted, hey. Lifted trick, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this phone through the windshield. <laughs> Tell them why you're riding the fishbowl then. Riding the fishbowl. So whenever I got it, uh, the, this truck had really bad scratched windows whenever my dad gave it to me. This was my dad's truck before it was mine. It was like a, it was a step side. It was, the paint was garbage. It I'm gonna was, put a picture here. You send me yeah, a picture, yeah. I'll put it in there. Oh my God. It was yeah. in terrible shape, man. But uh, whenever I got it painted, I got a brand new windshield put in it. The, uh, it has brand new side window. That's why they're not painted. But uh, yeah, I gotta get it. I gotta get the, the old tent that was on. I gotta get all of it ripped off. And then obviously this never been tinted before. I gotta get all new tent put back on. I just ain't had time really. I don't ever drive it. So you gonna do five percent? Yeah, I was gonna do uh, five percent on everything on all, all. I ain't doing nothing crazy. I've had double five before, and it's just. Nobody's gonna see you with five, yeah, bro. Yeah. So I got five. I'm doing wrong. five on everything. I'm gonna do a twenty on the windshield with a five percent eyebrow, but I'm not doing double five like I used to. It's just it just makes it's it too miserable. much. Yeah, it's make it makes it miserable for yourself because nobody else is gonna see you with five to begin with. So a lot of car guys that I've seen like slender enough in shows and stuff. Yeah, they'll uh they'll have a custom interior and they just won't run tent, which I like. Because, oh, like, yeah. at shows, you can leave it closed and people still look in it. If I had a lower truck, I seen a lower truck at Scrape, and it was literally just like mine, except it was uh, a single cab. And mm -hmm. then he, his whole back glass had been, he put a new, brand new back glass, and they had no tent nowhere on the vehicle. But it was like a single cab, and it was so low, you could just literally you could just look, in it. look down in it. Yeah. It's clean, but I think I would end up tending. I just, yeah, I just driving without it. tent, man. Yeah, man, it's miserable. So it's got a, uh, it's just a Nissan exhaust. I need to get it. <laughs> I need to get it uh, put back stock, bro. Like bad. I'm tired of it. But it's uh, it's just a straight pipe from the headers all the way back to seven inch slash good see if I crank it up for you. Nothing done to the motor though, right? No, it's stock. It's all stock motor. The only thing on the truck that ain't been messed with is the motor. It has a built transmission. And everything else. I didn't even know that. Straight pipes always sound good in auto when you get on it, man. It's just, I've, I've had it for like two or three years. It's just annoying. I just want it back stock. It's completely stock, stock open and everything. We're going to play some audio for y'all now. I have bone stock audio in my truck all the way throughout. This summer, I'm probably going to get into something. So, uh, if y'all have a 9906, I've seen some custom speaker pods and stuff that might look good. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all have, what y'all like, because I don't know anything about it. I know all the names, like the big brands, the PRV, the DS18, but that's all I know. I got you, I got you. I can't get in. I can't see it. 
Brady, Big if, Gio, if they put Big Joe in a dog box, yeah, come on. They, he was, they were also in a big bed top. Oh, yeah. Oh, he in there? I'd be, no, I'm, I'm going to call some phone. Oh. That shit scared me. Hello. I'd be afraid of some of y'all wouldn't unlock me. I know, I know y'all wouldn't unlock me, bro. Yeah, oh, he's stuck. Out, but, <laughs> that's scary, bro. Aren't you, like, scared? I would be freaking out. Mm -mm. I'm out. Oh, you can't get out. Terrifying. Bro, I just want, bro. <laughs> he said, bro, I just Hey, drive down the road and back. No. Bro, this thing's not closed, bro. On a scale of 1 to 10, how mad are you right now, bro? I'd be so mad. <sighs> Cohen, that's a little much. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Cohen, that's a little too far, bro. <laughs> Oh, no, he's <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brady? Yeah. He knew it was going to happen before he even got in there. <laughs> <laughs>